have you been paying attention? And now, the man with the cards, Tom Weisner. Good evening, Australia. We are ready to go for another look back at all that's been happening over the last seven days, and more specifically, to find out which of our contestants can remember the most about it. Tonight, President Biden making history, becoming the first sitting president to join... So, President Biden, the first to join what? Mel. I think it was a picket line for Indeed. the automotive Indeed, US Auto Workers Union. <laughs> yes, Sam. And then after that, he joined palliative care. <laughs> <laughs> Do need to move on. Oh, Chris Christie had some strong words for Donald Trump during the Republican debate. You're ducking these things. And let me tell you what's going to happen. You keep doing that, no one up here is going to call you Donald Trump anymore. We're going to call you... Call you what? People are going to call oh. Trump... Sam. It's one of the great political zingers of our time. <laughs> he said Donald Duck. Uh, <laughs> hold on to your sides and take a look. We're going to call you Donald Duck. <laughs> That's very good coming from Chris Krispy Kreme there. <laughs> Our oh, sombre words from Justin Trudeau. This was a mistake that has deeply embarrassed Parliament and Canada. What was the mistake? <laughs> Sam. His impression of Morgan Freeman. Was definitely <laughs> not what he was talking about. What was the mistake, Anne? Is it the music of Justin Bieber? That was... <laughs> the nation is, is uh, apologising for that. Marty. I think it was Nazi-esque. Yes, so I'll need a few more details because you're in the zone. Anyway, OK, follow... I'll give you a couple. <laughs> just no, no gestures, just what words. A, what a no gestures, absolutely no <laughs> gestures. Where are you thinking? That's all heading. Um, somehow ended up as part of something to do with his government. Oh, oh no. <laughs> wow. Sam. Just a series of words over there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> It would help if I knew the answer, wouldn't it? <laughs> You've turned on Marty. <laughs> he's, he's thrown me under the and, bus. And has no idea. No, what? I know what it is. What I know it? what it is. Sam. They invited uh, someone from, you know, with Nazi leanings wow. into Parliament. A Nazi war criminal was in, and given a... Yeah, uh, leanings, leanings, war criminal, you know. <laughs> Pay that, Sam, inviting a Nazi war criminal to attend Parliament. <laughs> to one of our favourite stories this week. A motorist has been fined in Slovakia after their dog was busted. Busted doing what? Motorist, the dog, Slovakia and... Selling drugs out the window? It was, it was, that would have been impressive, but no, uh, Marty. I think he was driving. Yeah. Oh. He was driving the car. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> How good's that? Uh, the driver said that the dog jumped into his lap at the last moment and it wasn't what it looks like. Yeah, so it's uh, not a dog driving a car. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what it looks like, Tom. It looks like a dog driving like a car. A dog drive are, you a car. <laughs> are you telling us that behind the dog there's actually just a man driving the car? Yeah. Well, that's what he's telling us, but... Otherwise, you... the dog... What did you say last time we were on this show? Why is this even a question? <laughs> All right. This was huge. What happened in Hollywood at 12.01am Wednesday? Hell. Hugh Jackman joined Tinder. He oh, would have yeah. been... That would have... <laughs> He's on the market, Leader. Ed. What, did you say 12... 12.01am? 12, 12, oh, uh, Leo DiCaprio's girlfriend had her 18. Oh. Yes. <laughs> we close. Help me out, Anne. What happened? No, the writer's strike ended. Officially yeah. ended. Thank you. Sad news for Harry Potter fans. What happened? Man. Bullying? It, well, that, that's a, that's a lifelong... <laughs> lifelong issue, but this week specifically... <laughs> Sam. No, they've had to recall uh, anyone who owns a Nimbus 2000. <laughs> The, the airbags were just exploding. It is not. Yeah, it's catching on fire. Not car related. Help me out now. Um, a spoiler alert, Dumbledore has died. Yes. Michael Gambon, the actor who played Dumbledore. By the way, you know the Nimbus 2000 is not a car. <laughs> is it, is it, a, is it like a... It's a broomstick. Oh, they used to Quidditch. The, the... Oh, hang on. <laughs> hey, Pang, are you a secret? Are you a secret yeah. Potter fan? I'm not in secret. I'm out. <laughs> Mel, I will pay that. Uh, actor Michael Gambon, who played Dumbledore, passed away this week. Pink was not happy with one of her fans. Get this shit out of here. What was the gentleman holding that so offended Pink? Sam? Uh, one of Ed's children's books. <laughs> <laughs> what's in a, what's yes, in a book? Yes, we sold one. <laughs> Wasn't a book. He was holding up something, Marty. It was some sort of 
message about circumcision, I think. Yeah. A sign on his phone he saying, calls. calling circumcision cruel and unusual. Why? You know why, Mel? Now why? Why? Because when she was at the beach and she, there was a photograph and they could see one of her children was circumcised and they oh, were, right. that's why they're having a go. That, yeah. I didn't. Jesus, this show's taking a bit of a turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's Sorry. going on? I don't know. I'm not comfortable in here. <laughs> <laughs> We'll move on quickly and uh, be all right. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. This can, three, we, can, can we get Marty's companion dog to the set? <laughs> and all I'm right. going to need my intimacy coach as well. OK. <laughs> Race car driver Jessica Hawkins became the first woman in five years to do what? Marty. Reverse park. <laughs> <laughs> Quite. <laughs> We're just going to let you sit in that for a moment, Marty. Um, <laughs> She's a practice driver for an F1 team. Yes, She correct. will not be doing the race in Saudi Arabia, am I right? <laughs> Maybe not. OK. <laughs> With Aspen Aspen answer. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> well, it's a world-famous sycamore tree in England. Why is it in our news feeds? Sam. It's a very sad news, Tom. It was cut down by vandals. Yes. What? Oh. Yes. Yeah. And are you going to say uh, what oh. you said to me during the week? You said, I think the phrase was, what's the big deal? It's just a tree. Yeah, I... <laughs> Sam points to yours. Here's an unusual image. What was Novak Djokovic doing this week? Oh, uh, He's just being naturally funny, yeah. Tom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Is it part of an event? Really part funny of a major fella. sporting yeah. event? Uh, Ed. It's the... Is it the Ryder Cup? Yes. Sort of amateurs they versus anti vaxxers They do an all-star all yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Staying with sport. History is made. It is writ large in spectacular manner here in Berlin. How was history just made? Marty. I think she broke the world record for the marathon, Tom. From Ethiopia, Tikus Asifa ran 2 hours, 11 minutes, 53 seconds. I, I ordered the Tikus Asifa the last this... time I was there. <laughs> This Mexican football fixture was interrupted. The old dog on the pitch. What happened next? And That's where he was driving to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great? Sounding like right. some... Um, not related to the uh, Slovakian dog. Uh, yeah. Oh, they caught the dog, mm. but Guzman and Gomez caught him, so look <laughs> out. The dog sort of won. Mel. Did the dog catch the ball? Oh, Mel, stop there and take a look. Oh. In el partido, eh? <laughs> Graham Norton this week marked 25 years of what? Sam. Not doing much, but no one cares because the guests are great. That, well, <laughs> very funny guy. You were referring, of course, to money. 25 years of his show, Tom. Muddy, you're quite correct doing his talk show. Thank you, Tom. There you can um, have the points. Hunter Biden is suing Rudy Giuliani, claiming what? Muddy. He, he got into his laptop. Yes, he's claiming that Rudy stole private data from the now infamous laptop. This appeared on Google's homepage last Wednesday. What is the 25 stamp for? Uh, Mel. Graham Norton's show? It's, no, don't, <laughs> no, nice link, but curiously not right. It's money. 25 years of Google. Yes, and... Uh, He's not going to win this one. Yes. <laughs> to Thailand. And what are we looking at here? Uh, Mel. Is it a tyrantula? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> no, don't. Wow. You are, have you, you are turning into Kitty Flanagan very quickly. <laughs> I, um, Anne, what are we looking at now? I, I, it's a spider. Um, <laughs> I, I assume it's a, a new kind of spider. Oh, I can give you the name. Oh. Naren Chompu Fwang. He's reading it. <laughs> Top right of the picture. That might have been the person who took the photo. <laughs> Anne had it. It's a newly discovered, in fact, a tarantula species, right. Anne, but a newly discovered spider, right. I think. We'll give you the points. Scientists have discovered that eating what will get rid of garlic breath? Marty. Anchovies. Is <laughs> replace garlic breath. Now, this is interesting, Sam. Less garlic. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, yes, but it's actually an ingredient you can eat. You probably have it any in your fridge. Any tips like food? Sam? Oh. Any tips? Uh, <laughs> it's in the dairy, Captain. Cabinet. Cabinet? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> in my um, <laughs> okay. Where would you put yogurt? In my. <laughs> I would put cabinet. it in, put in my ice chest. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> we hurry, we've got to hurry this up. Your uh, your milk's getting delivered in a horse and cart tomorrow morning. <laughs> the pale, the man, the pale I man's coming. I tried to help. Yogurt. Thank you. Natural yogurt will apparently get rid of garlic breath. Mm. The Conservative Party. Got... No. Oh, and we're out of time. We'll leave you with a reminder from Sunrise this week of the need to pay attention to your broadband when doing an overseas interview. Would you consider a collaboration, a live stream with Nat? Don't tell her that she's an actual cook. Would you like I'm to? I'm going to have to go. Oh. <laughs> Paul Nigel froze. Good night, Australia. See you all next week.